like if it little shake. Oh, and people always say that when I when I shake it down there, I change the mannequin. But I can assure you I don't. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. So on today's video, what we're doing is we're doing this, the butterfly bob in minutes. Two ponytails showing you how we create forward graduation, layering, slight little bit of elevation. But if you're a stylist and you're struggling with creating these on-trend butterfly cuts, shag cuts, wolf cuts um, in salon, this is a great way to show you how you can achieve it using two ponytails so you understand the principles of over direction and elevation. So we split the hair from front to back, forward, cut it, create this beautiful look. And you can see that butterfly bob, look at all that texture and movement that we've got in there. The, the face framing, everything in literally minutes. So let's get into the section pattern and let's get into the haircut. So let's get straight into the section pattern. As you can see here, I've got two ponytails. This is going to be breaking down the haircut so simply so you understand where we're going to be cutting from. If you're a hairdresser watching this and you're thinking, I would love to be able to do the butterfly bob, butterfly haircut, forward graduation haircuts, understand where we take it to and, and cut it from, this is going to break it down for you very, very simply. So you can see I've got two stationary points here, one on the forehead and one just above the occipital bone. Now, they're not mirroring each other, but what they'll do is they'll blend beautifully. And that is down to the section pattern as well. So you can see I've just zigzagged through here and I've zigzagged on the other side as well. That's basically to make it melt together. If I was in salon, I, I could potentially do a zigzag, but I could do a, a straight horizontal or vertical section. And when it comes to refining, that is where I would create the softness and then melt together. I'm using this as a training technique to show you something really, really quick and simple so you can see it immediately as we cut it. So what we're going to be working with is, I said, like a forward graduation. So we're going to be working at 90 degrees, maybe just a little bit higher. So we're, we're creeping up into layering, but it is just traditionally known as a forward graduation. So where we're going to be cutting from, we're going to be getting our guideline and I'm going to use the nose as our guide here. And then on the back here, I'm going to elevate slightly again, and I'll probably take off, what's that, about three inches, four inches of length there. We're gonna be maintaining a lot of the length, but this is just gonna put in a beautiful layer. So the scissors I'm gonna be using today are my Ochre 14 t texturizers. Reason four again, if I was doing this in salon, I would be using my straight blades, and I'd be, I'd be sort of putting in my sections, I'd be sectioning up to there, section up to there, section up to there, making sure that I'm taking it to that same point. That way, with over direction, we maintain length. We can create a lot of shape. I'm not gonna be refining it because it's a ponytail haircut. I'm just gonna be showing you. But if I was gonna refine it, I would be, like I said, straight blade scissors, and then I would be refining with my straight blade scissors. I'm gonna use the ochre texturizers here because this is gonna give us, it's gonna give us softness, it's gonna give us texture, it's gonna get, make, it, make it melt together all in one. So I just want to show you this. So we're going to pull this down to the nose, which is there. And you can see that much hair there is what we're taking off. So I'm just going to get these scissors in and I'm just going back and forth. So I'm like this, back and forth through this section, because what that will do is just make sure we take off the length and when people say, oh, with texturizers or thinning scissors or anything like that, that you can't put in a blunt line, you can. There is a perfect blunt line, but it's very, very soft because of the, the scissors we've used. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna tuck that into my comb and I'm just going to just texturize point cut just to try and create a bit more softness because this is cut in one section, you can imagine it's going to be very, very blunt. But we're just lifting it up. You can see we're just slightly above 90 degrees. So that is creeping into layering fundamentally. So there we go. That's enough. We've got a nice blunt ponytail there. Let's flick it round. And then what I said, about four inches. So about there. And again, elevate slightly, and we're just gonna go back and forth to put in that blunt line. If 
through there. So we've got that blunt line there. And then we're just going to texturize all in there just to soften off. So what this is going to do, because we've over-directed, elevated up there, it's gonna maintain a lot of length. Because we've brought this down into here, we're gonna be creating graduation, so a bit of a weightier layer. Because we've elevated slightly, we are in the, we are in the layering, but because that hair's pulled down, we are in graduation. Again, let's just soften off a little bit more. The zigzags are gonna help the front melt into the back, the back melt into the front. So that is it. Let's take this out. And what we're gonna do is give it a little shake. And what you can see is all of those layers come to life through there. Look at that shape, really nice and soft as well. Let's pull this out here. Now what you should be able to see there, you should be able to see like a concave shape around that face. So it's shorter up in here, like so, and then just gets longer towards the edges. So I'm just gonna brush it out. And look, we're brushing out into that zigzag. There's our shortest layer. And because this was all zigzagged in, it just blends. If you're a hairdresser and you wanna use that as a standard sectioning pattern in the salon, do it because it makes your life so much easier. So look, just brushing this out or combing it out, shall I say. Haven't done this in a while. Let's give it a little shake. Oh, and people always say that. When I, when I shake it down there, I change the mannequin. But I can assure you I don't. Let's get a central. She's central. Fingers and thumbs, just to get that little bit of dishevelment, little bit of shape through there. And you can see we've got those beautiful bangs, but they're not too short. I think when you wear them up more near the eyebrow, eyes, it's a little bit more wolf cut, a little bit heavier. The butterfly cut, we want all this softness that's going to come around the face like this. And as you can see there, we've got beautiful softness, beautiful layers all the way through, and just a really nice butterfly haircut. Would you call it a butterfly bob? Is it a little bit too long as a butterfly bob? We could take it a bit shorter. That's what we'll do. So you can see that there. How nice is that? All the back there as well. And for a little bonus, what we will do is I'll lift it up and I'll use the texturizers again and we'll put in the bob length. Because what this will do, it will give it a bit of a point of difference as well. The butterfly bob, you've seen this as the butterfly haircut. If you're a hairdresser and you wanna understand that again, section front to back, really simple. We wanna, we wanna take the front section, like elevate it up and out to create that look. And then the back, we wanna bring it up as if we're layering through that back. But I just think it looks so cool. And to be able to show it really quickly with ponytails, I think it's such a cool, uh, a good training technique. Right, so look, let's bring this down. Again, I'm just going to, I'm gonna to come to just below, oh no, because that layer is sitting there. What I'm gonna use as my guide is this length here. That's a nice length. So. And again, I could use blunt scissors, but I'm just showing you what you can, as, as long as you go back and forth with these texturizers, you can put a blunt line in. Look, blunt line there, but still very, very soft. Back and forth, back and forth. And just to show you, well, before I get onto the other side, so you can see how blunt this actually is. There, that's how much we've taken off. So I'm just gonna continue around this side and then let's just come around here we're looking nice we're looking nice length and I'm just matching this to that front there and then just going to go in just tidy up any of the stragglers because we're using texturizers to make sure it's all the same length and there we go there is a butterfly bob in literally minutes. Let's bring that down. Have a nice look at that. What are we saying? Let me know in the comments down below what you think because these little training techniques, does it help you? 
Um, does it help you when you go into a salon, you ask a, ask a hairdresser, look, I want a butterfly bob. Here's the, the finished look that I want when you take a picture. I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes where to say, oh, go in and show them this video, but just have a little bit of inspiration. But yeah, look at that. Butterfly bob in literally minutes. And the thing is, when it comes to in salon, what I would tend to do is the, the wet cut wouldn't take too long. It would be the refining. So I'd go into this and refine it a lot more, make it a bit more looser, tied up those ends. But I just want to show you something really quickly. The butterfly bob is still trending massively. Again, let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you are new, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video.